Thanks for joining us at Ride On Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review is brought to you in part by Rogers Hobby Center in Saginaw, Michigan, where the fun begins. This review covers the Holloway trailer. It's a 125 scale kit from AMT number 1193. A common sight on the highway, these unsung heroes are the last mile delivery vehicles bringing new cars and trucks to dealers across our country. Originally released in 71 as kit number T523, it's had four releases, the last being in 1998 before this 2020 release. Now the kit has 107 parts. It's molded in white, clear red, clear yellow, and chrome parts with a steel axle, and it features new decals and black vinyl tires. It's a skill level 3 for the intermediate builder, and it's actually a pretty quick and fun build as long as you pay attention to squareness. It'll measure 30 inches long with the loading ramps, 22 inches without, or 4 inches wide and 4 and a quarter inches tall. Here are the contents of the kit. As you can see, it's pretty basic. Uh, there's just a few small parts in the under chassis there and uh, taillights, etc. But it's pretty easy to build. We'll be using different kinds of adhesives and we'll let you know what those are as we go along here. But remember to use the uh, manufacturer safety and use guidelines when you see or hear any of the products um, in the review. Here are the decals for the kit. The register is good and um, there's some colorful decals there that you could uh, apply to a cab if you uh, added one to the trailer and also some of the nice uh, highway stripes there. Uh, and we'll be using just mostly the stripes and some decals but um, you may find that uh, some setting solution will help apply those long or large decals. So assembly starts with the wheels and the tires. They're a nice looking set, uh, nice chromies there for the wheels. And uh, clean those up, uh, remove any sprue attachment points with a uh, cyan paper or a cyan file. And uh, get those ready for assembly. Remember to scrape any of the uh, chrome plating or paint. Uh, the uh, brake uh, drums and the hubs there are painted semi-gloss black before you glue these together in this sequence. And uh, as you can see here, they make a, a nice looking set when you're done. So go ahead, assemble those with some uh, uh, liquid glue and uh, set those aside to dry. We'll assemble the uh, support legs next, so you'll need to decide if you want to display the trailer by itself or uh, on the back of a, a tractor. So if you're putting it uh, on a tractor, you'll need to use the shorter legs uh, of the set. And then glue the two halves together and paint these assemblies uh, semi-gloss black. Let's uh, turn our attention to the suspension and get these parts out of the kit and clean them up. And then uh, glue the um, two halves of the axles together. And then secondly, slide the dust shields and the springs over the ends. Now glue the inner spring braces to the springs ends. Finally, glue the push rods to the air chambers and place these on the pins on the axle. Now uh, paint this assembly black. And now we'll need these parts to tackle the main body, so get those ready for assembly by cleaning up any parting lines or uh, sprue attachment points. Now we're going to start by using some um, super glue and join the front and rear floor sections. Now make sure that the tabs on the front piece are in good condition. One of mine was bent. Um, squareness for the whole box and perpendicularity for the walls are going to be important here, so make sure that you watch that as you glue it together. Now put the uh, left trailer side to the floor and glue that into place and make sure the locating tabs on the side go on top of the floor deck and keep this square as it sets. Next, add the front upper floor, making sure the tabs are under the top this time. I suggest not gluing the top deck all the way to the rear, as this will make the ramp installation easier. But keep it square as it sets. Now add the rear step to the rear bumper and install it to the floor section. Finally, add the license plates holder and the air hose assembly. I used some tape to hold the pieces square while the glue set. You could also use some F clamps in this uh, situation. In retrospect, it would have been easier to paint the uh, inside of the trailer first and then assemble it because it's really hard to get a rattle can or a spray nozzle inside this assembly. I decided to uh, paint the unit um, 
a dark color. So I used some Rust-Oleum 2X paint that has a primer in it and just sprayed it. Uh, so because it was so dark, you know, didn't really need a primer too. And this is uh, their navy blue color. So after the glue had set, I just sprayed it all down uh, and um, it looks pretty good. Once the paint is dry, you can uh, add the tail lights, the marker lights, and the side steps. And uh, note that the uh, driver's side doesn't have a step at the rear of the trailer there. Locate these parts. They're next up for assembly. Um, the support leg, the tire, and the rear suspension assemblies. And uh, get those ready to uh, put together. Assemble the air tank by gluing the tank halves together and adding the air valve. And that was painted uh, along with the kingpin um, a semi-gloss black. Then add the tank to the underside of the floor and glue the suspension to the bottom of the trailer. Insert the axle into one of the tire assemblies uh, hubs and then slip this through the axle housing and add the other tire set uh, by squeezing them together. Glue your choice of support legs uh, to the front of the trailer in the locations provided. The last phase of construction uh, involves the loading ramp, so get these parts out and ready to assemble by cleaning them up. Now the upper ramp, loading ramps, the hydraulic cylinder housings, they're all body colored. And the cylinders, pistons and pins are silver and the wheel uh, chocks are black. Now when those have dried, here's a good tip. Don't fully glue the upper ramp in place. Gently pry the sides away at the pivot points and insert the pins without glue. Next, insert the pistons into the cylinder housings and glue the housings together, making sure not to get any glue on the piston. Insert the pins in the bottom of the housing and glue the pins into the trailer. Now, remember not to get glue on the housing itself. Then lastly, put the top of the pistons on the pins of the upper ramp. I heated the tip of a flat blade and just mushroomed the ends of the pins so that they can pivot but not fall off. The loading ramps and the wheel chocks are left loose to be poseable as you wish. Now you can uh, decal the model as you wish. Uh, just use plenty of warm water for those long pieces. Well, there you have it. You won't have many pieces left over from this kit. Just the um, stands that uh, you didn't use and a few decals from the um, decal sheet. Remember, you can use some of these for a uh, cab if you decide to put the uh, trailer on a, on a tractor. We're glad to say that AMT saw fit to bring this one back. Uh, it makes for a head turner and a nice display piece. Not only that, but it doesn't take up any space because at the end of it all, if you've got some 125 scale cars uh, or pickups, you can just load them into the trailer and use that as your display stand. So if I were you, I'd buy one and put it on my shelf.